Hey guys, it's Jason. We're down here at Jerry Burgess's out west of Tuckerman. Jerry's decided to retire. He's commissioned us to have an auction for him. It's going to be March 4th. And we're out here west of Tuckerman, about five miles. If you'll take Highway 37 west of Tuckerman, it'll take you straight to the sales site. Auction's going to be March 4th. You can give Jerry a call at 870-349-4012 or you can call Jack Hollifield. 870-926-4173 or you can give me a call Jason 573-717-0258 uh, we're going to go down through the lines here uh, let's see everything we got uh, leave a comment if there's anything you want to know about I'll try to answer any questions I can best as possible okay guys here we are on the first line we got a relift, rice gates a little plow there for Mark and Levy's two blade ditcher a couple of levy plows a couple of blades there for pushing levees a couple levy splitters baker plow got a hurricane ditcher sitting behind that back there gate setter eight blade levy plow behind there tandem levy plow here pipe roller in the back i don't know if you can see it or not levy packer sunflower levy cedar on it like new hicks poly pipe roller like new Poly pipe roller behind there, W and A pan plow, bush hog side mount behind that. Better roller, John Deere rotary hole in the back. Eight row John Deere 7300 vacuum planter, 30 inch, another 30 inch John Deere planter behind it. Stubble roller, John Deere chisel plow up next. 16 foot trailer with a fuel tank on it. A couple chisel plows. Case H. Do all. Great plain solid stand 20 drill on 7.5 inch. JM seed cart. And I believe that's a Reynolds 8C pan. Alright, guys, here we are on line two. Chevrolet pickup. GMC pickup. I'm not sure if those trucks run. I think one of them does. The Chevrolet, the maroon one, they were kind of working on it the other day, so I'm not really sure. The CAD excavator does run, though. It runs very, very well. They've been out here using it. Namco Land Grader HX15 mower. Four turbo John Deere power units. Another Reynolds bucket, I believe that's a 12 yard bucket. John Deere 6400. John Deere field cultivator, 630 disc coming up next. Two wheel drive 8200 tractor. It's a slick little tractor too, it's a good shape. It's slick up real well for somebody. John Deere field cultivator. Another lot of power units. We got a couple of turbos right there at the first, and the rest of them, I believe, are just four cylinders. Well, we got a couple six cylinders in there. Those are right there on the end next to the Phillips are six cylinders. Phillips rotary Hera. Then we're going to have two mechanicals, two John Deere 8400s. WNA better roller. I believe that was set up on 12 roll 30 inch. Another John Deere 630 disc, 9300. That does not have steering valve on it. They've got it integrated. It's got the steering up on the column of it. John Deere field cultivator. Deutz power unit. Another little four cylinder there in the rear. Got a turbo right there. The late 01 Ford tractor. All right, then line number three, John Deere 8420. Case IH 580 Super M. That has extend a hole on it also. That is an extend a hole. 630 disc. John Deere field cultivator. Case IH turbo till. And I can't remember the size. I know it's listed on the sale bill. You can check the website for the size. 8295R. That 8295R has a 6,000 receiver. The receiver is checked in separately and it has a 1800 display on the inside, but those are checked in separately. 1790 drill, 
9530, same. It has the steering on the column. 1890, 1910, 4720 high cycle. And that has floaters behind it. But you can't see right now there's gonna be a 9760 combine sitting there I'll get a shot of it later they've got it over at the shop cleaning up on it but there's the floaters back here for the high cycle they are going to sell separately 630 flex head Shelburne Reynolds head Brent 880 cart Cummins power unit this belongs to a neighbor down the road here that's just it's just a consignment those floaters right there, those come off of a Magnum tractor. I believe it's like 7120. There's the front floaters for it. Then we've just got some front tires over there, rims included. Rear duals over here probably come off 8,000 series tractor, probably looking like 42 inch. All right, guys, here we're on line number four now. Freight liners. Mack truck, real slick Mack truck. Wilson hopper bottom, Wilson pace setter. That's not, that is not a super hopper, but there is a super hopper that's consigned from a neighbor in the back. Manac hopper, two CPS hoppers here coming up. Years, your model should be listed on the sale bill. John Deere 9750 combine. Has contour on it. Duels. 893 corn head probably going to be set up on 30 inch rows. I believe it is on 30s. Two 630 flex heads. 9610 combine. 925D. 925 rise. 570 Brent grain cart coming up. These right here are a couple of consignments we're about to see. There's two track machines right here. Got two grain carts on tracks. This come from the Hag Woods out west of Newport. They wanted to bring them over here, but got the 974 Brent grain cart. It's on cat tracks. Then we got the 8782 Sunflower carts. Water wagon. That has a three inch diesel water pump on the back too. Phoenix Hera. Another deal, a few consignments here from the neighbor down the road with the bed roller. And we got the flat roller. John Deere field cultivator. 4840 Real slick 8320. Real slick 8320. And that 1780 planter, it's going to be sitting right here next to it. I hadn't had to get a chance to unhook it yet, but it's going to be sitting right here. All of them come from the same folks. And freight liner truck. All right, guys, here we are on our final line. We've got the Brent 1585 grain belt International Eagle truck. The International Eagle and the Brent 1585, those are both uh, local consignments. Neighbor over in Swift and wanted to bring them over here. Same as this. Here's a Wilson uh, Tempty Super Hopper. Got the Super Hopper here. Neighbor wanted to put it in, so Jerry said, come on. Got three Proctor floats. First one looks really, really good. The other two, they look as good as well. This third plane here, it is not going to sell. Jerry's wanting to keep it, but the Fair Oaks will sell. Fair Oaks is going to sell. International truck does run. That truck runs. I drove that truck and parked it right there. Chevy trucks do not run. Don't know what it would take to get them to run, but they do not run. Here's the 9760. They're over here just cleaning up on it right now. It's a level land machine, no contour on it. Got the big tires, rear wheel assist. But anyway, they're just getting it slicked up. And when it gets moved, it's going to be sitting over in the third line next to the 4720. All right, guys, that's everything. If you have any questions about any of the equipment, like I said at the beginning, you can call Jerry Burgess, 870-349-4012. Auctions March 4th, like I said, five miles out west of Tuckerman, Arkansas on Highway 37. So any questions, anything we can do to help you, ask in the comments call jack 870-926-4173 my number is 573-717-0258 and uh, we'll try to do anything we can to help you uh 
if you're thinking about having an auction, wanting to sell any equipment, make some changes, got anything like that going on, you can call the office. 1-800-533-9488. If you're in the Northeast Arkansas area and you're wanting to do something, maybe just got a few pieces to sell, thinking about having an auction, changing up, give Jack Hollifield a call. 870-926-4173. Thanks, guys.